to, uh, to, uh, to get that word is one thing, to get the, the domain is another. Fresh.com, that's worth some bucks right now. So congratulations for getting that. So let's talk about the growth and sort of you, you're at a single store. The, you know, the two of you are still working this. It's your heart and soul. It's really tough because when you're trying to do something and we started sort of importing, obviously we were importing some lines. It wasn't yet. There was not a fresh product yet um, the first two years. Um, it's just was really difficult because it wasn't a great retail location, so there was not a lot of foot traffic. I mean, we got a lot of appreciation from the locals. We got a lot of press. We actually even got some national press very fast. But that did not necessarily produce itself in business. So we were literally just sort of bouncing back. You know, I say, you know, borrowing money from Peter to pay Paul back and vice versa. And it just, it was sort of a vicious circle because there was no capital. And, you know, at the time, the banks wouldn't work with you because this type of inventory really did not present any value to the bank. So there was not really a bank relationship. So, I mean, where do you go? You know, you want to grow or you want to at least, you know, you believe you have something that has a response. You believe that you're doing something that's really right for you and fortunately for people that are coming into the store and buying it and responding to it. And, uh, you know, as it happens, you know, by then I think we sort of came to a point where we decided we wanted to do our own product because, you know, as you maybe get big in your breeches or maybe you really understand what's missing, you know, is what you can bring from other brands. And, you know, we happen to both really love soap. I mean, and it may be coming from the fact of growing up and, you know, there was one soap that was used basically in households. It was called baby soap and it was used on me when I was a baby. It was used on laundry, you know, it was used on everything else. Household soap, called baby soap. So, it, you know, I guess, you know, you always look for something that you, you know, you don't remember ever having. But the fact is that, you know, our store actually became sort of a really great resource for a lot of different options. We had all vegetable-based soaps and a lot of different variations of it. We were bringing a lot of different types and we thought that that would be sort of a way, probably the simplest way to bring the first fresh product to the stores. And uh, we found a small producer in the south of France who agreed to make, you know, a small batch of our own product for us. And it wasn't sort of like a private label idea. It was literally, you know, we could actually tweak the formula. Lev could work on the fragrance. Mm -hmm. So in, um, you know, two and a half years later, we were able to do that.